Well today I'm going to uh, show you around our local watt and uh, where we actually live inside the watt. So uh, let's get going. This is the entrance to the watt. Um, the road alongside it goes down for about three quarters of a mile and then uh, comes to an end and just right at the end of it there used to be a POW camp years ago but uh, it's no longer there now and up the other side is the town square so let's go in and uh, have a look it's been uh, here about 80, 90 years. It used to be called a forest watt, but uh, over the years uh, the town's grown. Uh, it's just been called a watt now. So, uh, and yes, we have a spirit house as soon as you get in. It's quite. Uh, quite a big what they do a lot of teaching uh, the young monks here and uh, after they're sort of qualified they uh, go on to uh, other temples and what the statue of the Buddha inside this is where they have the uh, <coughs> main services Stairs needs uh, painting again. This is what it was like uh, before I painted it, and uh, this is what uh, it looked like after I painted it. So, uh, a lot of hard work rubbing it down as there's no guttering on the roof, so the rain just pours down. As we come up to uh, the main temple, this is usually uh, open on special occasions or uh, when someone's uh, becoming a monk they uh, open it up, but apart from that it's uh, always closed and uh, this is where uh, the crematorium This, this uh, one covers uh, all the local area as some of the other temples haven't got this facility but there's three main buildings and uh, they have used uh, all three in the past all in uh, one week uh, the main uh, I would say furnace um, it's not powered by gas it's, uh, they burn them with charcoal and we just had a funeral here that lasted seven days so uh, they've left the flowers on there at the moment sometimes they put banners around it this is what it used to look like before I painted it up it took quite a, quite a bit of work rubbing it down getting all the mould off and uh, this is what it looks like uh, now Uh, the main temple also painted the walls around the main temple um, that took a long time to do it was so hot when I done it I could only stay out here for about two hours painted all the gold on the top so, uh, I also, uh, I've got to paint the sides, but I also painted round the, uh, painted round the doors. 
That took forever. There was a lot of detail work there. Both sides. Both ends. As we come down. The next building along is uh, another little temple. Uh, for uh, a female Buddha, Wan Ying. Uh, she was a Indian princess that gave up everything and uh, helped the people. And when she died, apparently, um, she heard the people crying out her name. And uh, so they say her spirit came... Uh, came back down to earth to help people but this uh, sometimes gets used I have seen people in there they burn insects, incense and uh, candles that comes in here put my shoes on Then we have uh, then we have the bell tower. They ring that at uh, four o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning, and five o'clock in the evening. They use uh, a stick. On that. These are just empty buildings. As you can see, we've got another drum up the top. Right up. They, uh, they did put a map up of the place and I, uh, I uh, put pictures which need changing now of all the uh, activities that happen here. Next we have another building where the, uh, at 11 o'clock uh, the monks have their uh, dinner from 11 till 12. Uh, after 12 o'clock they are not allowed to eat till the following day. Take my shoes off. Uh, sometimes they uh, eat here if uh, people come in and bring food. Uh, they will eat here. And uh, if it's a quiet day, nobody turns up. They uh, they go and sit at the main uh, the main house. They beat the drum at eleven o'clock. Right, let's see what else we can do. Right, this uh, driveway, as you can see, we uh, we pay for this to be put in. It used to be just a mud field here, and riding a motorbike down it, you could uh, easily fall off. So uh, we put this in for uh, everybody else as well that comes and visits. That's where the uh, main monk lives and over the back there is the uh, monks houses and where the uh, monks eat so we'll start off from there again all this was just mud uh, they've had it raised about I think there's about nearly two foot of soil and then they planted some bushes and plants trees but uh, here are the uh, monk's houses. I suppose the room's about eight foot square and there's a separate toilet and shower and there's a roof fan and the only other luxury is a mat, mat on the floor, that's it. But uh, 
you've got wire, you've got the first building was here when we uh, arrived and the other buildings have been put up in the last uh, five years all paid for by uh, donations my dogs barking there's the headman's uh, house he's got a bedroom in there and then the, the other side there's a private meditating room for him little monk waterfall yeah I'll be over in a minute just been invited for uh, coffee this was put up this year this chicken wire and concrete So go out and uh, have a coffee with a small car. Right, now we've uh, finished our coffee, we'll carry on. Uh, what they used to do before was uh, wash everything with a hose pipe and uh, in a bowl. All their cooking utensils and plates and uh, we built this uh, sink unit for them. Uh, they don't have to uh, use a bowl anymore so now we're going to go to the uh, back of the temple this is uh, our house and this is the back of the temple this main building was done over a period of five years uh, this uh, structure has just been done this year and same with the uh, big buddha and right over the back is the uh, river choir Buddha statue. Most people donate uh, either money, uh, some donate uh, a lorry load of sand, some cement, wood, and this is what they uh, they do with it. And this is the scenery from right round right the back. the statue and right round the back is uh, the stupas they don't bury uh, bury them or sprinkle the ashes on the ground like in the western world they put the uh, ashes in a stupa. These are the uh, monks' uh, rooms again. We uh, we paid for a path to be put in. All this is just mud as well. Right round the back is the stupas. All shapes, sizes, colours. Some have got railings round, some haven't. This is our one ready for us when we go. 
what happens is they uh, put the ashes in a urn and uh, put the urn inside as a door and they uh, seal it and right over the back is uh, the Chinese uh, graves they're right on the ground and that's the uh, the end of the tour of the uh, what so I hope you enjoyed the little tour like and subscribe